I'm gonna go over how the cooling system in the Coyote works. The cooling system <clears throat> works better than an old school small block Ford. I'm gonna go over the cooling system and where the hot spots would be based off of how the coolant flows. And um, you know, those modifications that you have out there, you can infer on if they're gonna do anything or not. Okay, so here we got a Coyote block and the water pump sits right here. So um, from the radiator, okay, it comes in, the, the cooled water comes in from the bottom, hits the thermostat, and if it is going to be hot enough to open the thermostat, the water pumps are gonna take it right in, okay? So it's gonna go through that, that part. The water pump here spins around, centrifugal, and pumps the water through the engine. Now you have a spot uh, here where the water goes, and you have a spot here where the water goes. So what this tells you is that both sides of the engine get fed with cold water at the same time. Now, do these flow slightly different? Okay, um, possibly. The water does spin like this. They're both in that kind of direction, and this one's pointed down, okay? Well, let's go ahead and look at this side, and this is how the water comes in through this passage. So you got cool water coming into the block. <clears throat> this, as we went over in previous video, is for oil, okay? Um, in here in the block, you have the water coming in from this side. It comes in on, there's no, there's no passage through here, okay? There's no passage uh, through here, okay? You got, you got this oil here, so the water cannot instantly go to the, out, to the out, lizard outlets, okay? It has to go this way has to go down. So the water comes in on the exhaust side first. It comes into the block on the exhaust side all the way to the back. And the only way it goes is up into the head. Okay, these two back here, it can go around and then back, but it has to come all the way around here and cool this first and then it can come back to the top. Um, cannot go right here, cannot go through here, here, or here. So all of this, the water comes out of here into the head on the exhaust side. That's the hot side of the head. So that's cool, right? And here we go. So here's the inlet of the, uh, of the head. Now you may notice that these are cut here. It's a support and then it's cut. Well, you have to do that. Otherwise you're gonna block the water on these heads. So you ever seen those other supports that they have in here? Go ahead and think about that. If they're not, if they don't have a flow path here, how much water are you not getting into your head? But I digress. Okay, so the water comes in through here and it goes around the chamber. It cools the chamber. The red water comes around the chamber and out of these passages, okay? Um, in fact, it comes around and it, and it's, and it goes through, through here. So um, the water here, that comes around the back of the block, okay? It'll come out here. Um, so all the water, hot side first and then the cold side, it comes out of the head here. So this, this big chamber, okay, it's full of water. You have this for balancing left to right head. That is this port here. This port just goes over to this head, okay? So you're gonna have flow balance from both heads. They come in from the block balanced, they balance through the heads. Obviously the hot water, if, it, if it's going back here, it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. You're gonna have hotter water back here. These heads have a large chamber to pump this hot water back up to the neck here. Okay, so this neck goes back out into the radiator. On this nipple, this, this side will have a, uh, a nipple for the uh, degas bottle and the other side has a uh, it has a port for the um, heater core. So you'll get hot water out of the block, hot water going into your heater core. And then it comes out of the heater core and goes back up to the water pump where it gets pushed right back into the radiator, okay? So what are people doing when they're popping this out and uh, putting in cooling mods? Well, they run from the back of this head to the back of the other head and then uh, it's supposed to balance the hot water, right? Well, sure, I guess, if one head is getting hotter water at the back of the head than the other, but there's no flow there. It's not like you're you're moving water from one head to the other because the water goes out the front of the head. So it comes in here, 
it goes over and goes this way. So what are we doing here? And why is it going to the other head? The water just, just balancing out. So if, if one head is hotter than the other, uh, sure, you're gonna get a bit of heat transfer through that water tube from one head to the other. But in general, it's not how the cooling system works. Now, if we could pump water through here to cool this head better, like right out, right from the back to the front and out, well, that's pretty cool. But this would have to get hooked up to the front of the, at the water pump here, or um, the inlet to, well, yeah, you'd have to come out the water pump. So if you had an auxiliary electric water pump coming from the radiator, I suppose you could pump cold water to the back of the head and then, and then forward. But how, how are you gonna get cool water in the back of the head. This does not get, these don't get cool water in the back of the head. It's just hot water back there. So, and these are the hottest, the back is the hottest cylinder just because the cold water comes here and down. So it does absorb a bunch of heat before it gets to these. So we, what we wanna do is get cold water into here and those cooling mods just don't do that. Um, so that's how the cooling system works. And both, unlike some other engines where it goes from one side to the other, right? This doesn't do that. It doesn't go from, one one cool one side and then the other side nah -uh. it cools the front to the back and then back through the heads and out into the radiator to get recooled